Hello YouTube, this is Michael and I'm coming to you with the long play ticket video for the month of April. And for this month I selected the $3 bingo, the special square deal tripper bingo. It is your standard $3 bingo from the Colorado Lottery. You have three players cards and you have one special card. You get 27 numbers on the caller's card. Scratch all the numbers here. Match the numbers in the four cards. If you get in the three standard player cards, if you get a line, four corners, or X, you win the prize. Listed for that particular pattern and card. On the special card, just get a row, column, or diagonal to win the prize listed for that row, column, or diagonal. Also, on the three normal players' cards, you will win the largest prize possible for the card if you get blackout, and they're worth all 25 squares. Um, you also will win if you get all eight numbers that surround the center free space in the little highlighted square pattern. The prize you win for that is listed in the square box. Okay. Um, I do want to point out, if you do get the square, you can only get the square once, and you win what's ever in the square box. It is not dependent on what card you get the square. So, bingos take a long time to play, if you do it the traditional way. I have come up with a fast way. So, what I... I'm going to do for the fast way is on the three normal player cards I am only going to check for the numbers on the two diagonals and the four numbers that form a diamond. So on this card it would be 33, 6, and 65 because we have the double dollar sign. On this one it would be 41, 14, 61, and 42 and this is in addition of course to the two diagonals. So on this one, it would be 43, 65, and 42, since we have the double dollar sign over here. And then on the special card, I'm only going to check the two diagonals. And the reason for that is, if you're missing numbers out of that, you're not going to get, okay? So it just basically cuts down the number of numbers I have to check for. So to do this method, we scratch all... 27 caller's card numbers and I'll clean it up a little bit here by the way I will tell you that this works for just about any state and their bingo cards. Um, obviously, if there's special patterns, like for example, squ um, squares or diamonds or whatever, then obviously you need to check for those as you go. So, we'll start with card one and go from there. So I have, do I have B7 and B9? B7, B6, and B9. I do have 7. But I do not have 6 or 9. So that instantly rules out X and four, X four corners and blackout. So next I need to check for... The only other thing I need to check for really along here is the rest of the diagonal. Okay, I have 29. Do I have 57? I do not. Okay. I don't have 20 or 13 either. So let's check for 33. I have 33. I 
don't have to be seven, I remarked. But I have 73. I do not. Okay. I'm relatively confident that I don't have. Because we noticed I don't have that one. 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 I do have 72. Let's see, what other one did I exclude? I think it was I-20. I excluded, so... Just by doing that, we've already concluded that I don't have a winner on card one. So let's move on to card two. Okay, I do have four. And I do have 14. But I don't have 11. Okay. So I'm going to go down the rest of this diagonal. 23. Is a no, I do not have 23. Okay. Um, do I have 41? Don't have 41. Okay. Um, do I have 61? have 61. So the only other thing I need to do is check for 60. Do I have 60? No, I do not. So that renders that one dead. Alright, let's move on to card 3. I do have 15. Do I have three? I do not have three. All right, do I have 22? Yes, I do. Do I have 58? I do not have 58. Okay. Alright. Let's check for 62 and 66. So I do have 66. Do I have 62? No. Okay. Next, do I have 43? Yes. Do I have 37? Nope, I do not. Okay. Um, alright, so I need to go down this way now. Do I have 17? Actually, let's start with 65. That's... Okay, I do have 65. And do I have 50? I do have 50. Do I have 17 and thus have a $30 winner? That is a negatory. I do not... So, once again, we have eliminated every possibility for a win. So let's go to the special card. Do I have 67? Indeed, I do. Do I have 69? I do not. Do 
Do I have 56? I do. Do I have 31? I do. Do I have 70? Yes. So I have four corners here, so now I just need to, I can, do now I need to check all four of these. Do I have two? I do not. Do I have... I don't have 32. I'll double check, but I don't have 32 because we eliminated that on card one. Okay, 64. No, and 53. No. All right. So... No win. M, Q, and X. Just out of curiosity, what was in the square box? Ten bucks. Not that it mattered. Okay, so it does help if you're going to use this method to have like a magic marker or an ink pen or something where you can just eliminate possibilities. Um, let me know if you like this newer, quicker way of getting through this. So. We will see you next time. And we're still trying to get a winner on camera. Still hasn't happened yet. So, we'll see you next time.